Good morning, everyone. On today's episode of Pinchy House Garage, we're going to be learning how to do brake lines, uh, hard brake lines, especially. Um, so, let's get to work because all of that it is early, and this is Pinchy House Garage. Since we're going to be doing hard brake lines, we're going to do a little cheating. Now this is cool because it saves you time and it saves you a little bit of money. Um, not by m much, but more more time. So you notice here's the brake line. This is the uh, one from the back from the uh, the proportioning valve, and you'll see here how the bends are. Full 90, a little bend here. So. Um, what I did is I bought a, a brake line kit online that gave me a bunch of different sizes. So I got the same line here, took off the other one, and I bent it myself. Um, now, bending is the hard part, and I'll show you what you'll need to do your bends. You need a little pipe bender here. And this allows us to bend the pipe to whichever we need. This one goes all the way up to a full 90 degrees. So to do a full 180, 180 like this, obviously you're going to need to go 90 and then kind of like scoot the line over until it does the one, uh, the 180 that you want. Uh, we'll show you how to do that, but we just wanted to give you a cool reference here. Now... If you're doing what I'm doing is replacing all the lines because number one, a lot of the lines were seized, so when I was taking them off, they all stripped. So no fun for me. So to go about this and fix it, I have to make all the new lines. So we made one, and you'll see here. This is one that we made, and this is for the front um, driver side. So we go up and down to here. Now, one thing you're going to need to learn for reference is um, the front lines are the most, probably the most important ones because your engine's going to be in the way. So you want to make sure, excuse me guys, you want to make sure you copy the lines that you had originally in here. So... I have the brake line right here. So this is the engine bay one. So this one goes here. We're going to have to do the best we can to copy these lines. Um, this one I bent the crud out of it, but it mounts right here on this part of the, uh, the master cylinder. Now we're using a Mark II master cylinder and Mark II brake booster and the reason why we're doing that because we don't need to change it since we're using fabulous manufacturing parts uh, this allows us to retain a lot of the factory stuff and saves a budget a big budget um, you'd be surprised how much money you're saving if you're going to be using fabulous obviously you're spending more money for custom parts but at the end of the day you're saving yourself the headache of not modifying your car or swapping out pedals and going to a Mark III booster and all that. It's just it's just so much more work where this is just easy peasy. Um, so back to the brake line. So now this is the brake line that we need to make. So I bought a brake. Um, what you need to do first is measure it. So you, with the piece of string, you measure from the beginning all the way over to the end, and that gave me a measurement of almost four and a half feet, I believe. So I have a brake line to match for that. So now that we have our brake line here unbent, we're going to have to bend it. Now, the issue here that you're going to have is 
where to start, where to end. Um, for me, the way that this, this is going to make the most sense is to start with the part that actually um, mates up with the, the wall, the firewall, um, and then work your way to each side. Um, the reason why I say that is because we might have to, this, this line is a little bit shorter. It's not the exact length of this, uh, this brake line. So we're going to have to manipulate it a bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. So uh, factor that into your, um, to your starting point. So I'm going to go get a piece of string, and I'm going to measure this distance here for the end of the brake line, which is, goes to the master cylinder. So that's where I'm going to start my first two bends. Uh, my first bend, and then my second bend is going to be over here uh, on its way towards the brake itself. And then we're going to put this in the car and then start doing the rest of the bends the way we want it. Now the thing is we want to follow these bends as best we can. Um, if you really, really want to, you can just make an exact copy and then go from there. Uh, the only issue that, you're, that you might have is that since this is a shorter, shorter brake line uh, that we're using up here, uh, it's like two or three inches shorter, we might have to make the bends more aggressive to get to where they need to get to but we'll show you in the process so I have my tape measure and my USB cable here this is what I'm going to be using for measuring length I mean so go from one end and kind of walk it down to your first bend stop at the end of the bend get your tape measure out Come on. And we're at 16 inches. So, now your first bend doesn't have to be precise. And mainly the reason why is because <coughs> we're going to pretty much bend it straight down. Um, it's a 90 degree. And the nice thing about doing this. Um, let's see here, 16 inches. I'll tell you right now why. Just give me a second here. So here's the 16. Now we're going to bend this guy. Ah, this is what I, I don't like about pipe bending. Now, since we don't have any bends yet, um, you're going to do your measurement twice. Now, that's 16 to the end. So, if we do... Now remember, one thing you're going to have a big issue is when you're bending, this is a 90 degree bend, so we're going to go full 90 degrees and leave it alone. Okay? That's a 90 degree bend right there. Not 100%, but this is the beauty about pipe bending is that you're going to get your bend, and it's not going to be perfect, but the steel lines are meant to be manipulated in a way that you want to use it and to work for you. Um, so, double check your measurement again. And I'm at 15. 15 here, and obviously I went a little bit back, so this should be 16 from where I ended and started. So now we have our bend, and you'll notice that our bend is not as long as this bend. Um, it's a shorter bend. So upside is that we're going to be using less material. Downside, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to bend it to actually get it to where we want it. Um, but the nice thing again 
you can bend this until you get it to where you want it. That's the whole point. Now, the only big downside of um, bending brake lines, and this is a big downside, um, is you can only bend it so many times until the line breaks. Uh, I'd say about two to three bends back and forth, and then it'll, it will end up kinking, and then that's the end of the line. So make sure you take your time and use your brake line, the one, your old brake line, as reference. And that's it. So let's get to work now on the next line that we're going to bend, the next bend. Now since this is, um, we're going to be bending this guy here. And we want to bend it the other direction. Copy which angle as best we can. So there's that now. This is the bend we needed. So now that we have what we wanted to start with, now we have our starting points. Now you have a choice to either copy this or make it yours um, I'm gonna make it mine I need to change the bends a little bit more drastically for myself so from here on forward it's your choice on how you want this to look um, and how you want it to sit since I want it to be a little bit shorter than factory I'm gonna copy the two extra bends that are here but when it goes to the break uh, the actual break I'm going to do it my way. Um, this is a pain. I hate doing brake lines, but this is a lot cheaper than doing anything else right now. Now, as something you need to remember as you're doing brake lines, <laughs> make sure you keep the uh, actual screw point um, out of the way. You do not want this to be anywhere else. I kind of screwed up earlier and I did a bend with it over here. I had to unbend it and get this back over here. So always keep this on the end as often as you can for your uh, for your reference. So now we're gonna. Go put this back in the car and then figure out where we need to do our bends. Okay, so here's this. This is where we are. Now, where I want my brake line to sit, I gotta copy the other one, so I'm gonna go bring the other one. guys over. Well, I did, but I caught you. <laughs> so you can see here what, what you want to copy and how you want to copy it. So it immediately goes straight down and then over and into the brake line. I mean into the brake. So I can do that. Um, 
so that gives me that option and I can just do it by going to a full 90 um, um, but I'm gonna have to do this side first I'm going to do my actual uh, brake booster option here before I start manipulating the brake line on that side so I gotta go get my mounting clips to mount the brake line nicely so that way I can actually bend it while it's in place all right now you guys can see the actual um, you see how I have it uh, I bought new nylon uh, mounts for it um, you get those on online on Amazon I paid like four bucks for a pack of 20 uh, they're gonna work great for you doing the uh, the body um, brake lines the ones that go underneath the car those are gonna be very very important for you down the road so remember I got them on Amazon for five bucks just look up um, brake line uh, clips and it shows right up so I can go straight to, uh, pretty simple I'm gonna bend it I'm gonna go this way I'm gonna do kind of like a 45 and then I'm gonna go up and then mount it in for this line now get these lines out of the way But we remember we have to do this side as well, so I think I'm gonna do the the brake line, the brake brake line over here, or the side brake side first. So I'm gonna see if I'm gonna be right there. So. Is right here. So you see my hand. Uh, if you see my finger wiggling, that's where the brake line is actually supposed to be. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to bend this line. Just more to my liking. So I'm going to do, from right here, I'm going to do a full 90. Nice. You guys can see where we ended up. You guys can see the brake line right here. So we ended up really, really nice and close to the actual brake mounting point where we need. So now, while we're here, we got to figure out. Now we got to go up and down. So obviously you can't go anywhere from there so now that we know where we're at we need to go full 90 straight up and then we got to rotate it back down that's where your complication comes in on your bend this is going to be a very difficult bend because it's not going to be the easiest ones but it's very doable Inside here, it's gonna be hard. This is what I wanted to do, but 
We have to mark it where we want to go. Do our 90. Go. We want to do our 90 right there. So we can go grab a Sharpie. Sharpie, kind of mark it where you want to go back a little bit. So that's where the bend we're gonna have to go up. Okay. Now you guys can see here that I got the line. Now I gotta go full 90, pretty much, or full 180 from here down to here. Now this is where the headache comes in when you guys gotta do lines like this. Because they're a pain, major pain in the booty. Um, sometimes I like to go backwards and do them from the beginning to end, but then it's a lot harder to get to where I needed to get to for the other lines. So this was an easier option for me, but hopefully I can get it done. Wish me luck. So, you see, I got the bend here. Now, what's going to be hard is you got to manipulate it so it lines up the way you want it to. So usually, you get your brake line, your brake hose, and try to line it up with that, and then do the rest of your bending accordingly. go with the brake line then spider dead spider now if I had more slack it would actually make a difference but I don't so I'm gonna try to bend this line as much as I can so it doesn't hit the chassis and rub a hole into it So that's for the moment there. Now we're going to work our way back over here to this line. Now that we have all our bends over there, now we got to do our bends here. And this is why I like um, I like doing the bend over there first. That way I can actually work my way over here because now the line is actually pretty stationary. So what I'm going to do first is probably going to go up and into it. So let's give it a try here.
bend it up this way. And then we're going to do kind of a 90 going into this spot. Now, I wanted a closer bend, so I have it closer to the booster. That way it kind of follows the chassis a little bit closer. So use your hand. Like I said, this is easy to bend by hand, but not that much. Let's see here. So now here, the issue that we're going to have here is it's not bendy here, so it needs to get a little bit of a curve into it. have it line number two made obviously it's not gonna look as great as OEM but you know what I did it I did it myself and I'm happy with it maybe down the road I'll go crazy and build some fancy lines but for the moment I'm pretty happy with that you know it gets me where I need to get it gets me a brake line where I need it now we follow the line. Now this is where I told you I was worried about. Since it's rubbing on the body, we're going to have to fix that in just a moment. But we got brake lines for the front now. We actually have now fully functional, not fully functional, but brakes for the front. <laughs> so now you see the brake line installed. Um, I bought some little rubber bushings so I can put underneath here so the brake line didn't rub on the chassis the entire time and make a hole in it but quick overview so now we have front functional brakes now meaning that they have the ability now to get fluid into them the next one is to actually do the rear with the main rear that's what I call it it's these guys right here this one goes from here all the way to the back until we get to the rear beam and then there it splits off into a proportioning valve and then that valve will give us what we need to finish off the the brake line pretty much yeah so let's work on that next so now that we have the big line this is going from all the way to the back to the front now what you want to do is and this is just to be honest, I would start from the front, work my way all the way to the back. The back is really funky. Um, you're going to have to custom make your bends. You're not going to be able to match the bends to the front or the back. So just do your best to copy what you have and then, not copy, but um, make it your own this time. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy my bend, this style bend, 
on one side and do the same style bend on the other. So that way I kind of have like kind of a matching uniform setup. So we're going to do that right now. So the first thing you want to do in this process is actually pop out the old line from its grommet down here. Or, or just break it off. Uh, since I got new grommets, I'm going to pop one in right now. Give me a second be right back. So, now we finally got all four lines kind of mounted. We're going to have to do pretty much some straightening, make the lines look a little bit cleaner. But so far, I'm very, very happy with it. I mean, it's not pro, doesn't look factory at all, but it's it's done by me, and I'm very, very happy with that because I did it myself. And with obviously, it shows I did it myself and no professional help, but I'm happy with that. You know, I, I'm not here to win awards. I'm not here to do anything. I'm here to actually enjoy my own car that I built myself with you guys. That's what I'm here. And I'm happy with that. So, um, just follow the steps that we showed you and how you bend the lines. And proceed to keep making all your lines the same method until you get all your lines done. If you're lucky enough to pull all your lines off that are bad, that you can copy them as much as you can. Um, the website that I'm using to get all my lines is actually JBugs. They sell air cooled stuff, but every they sell they have a whole line, a whole section of just brake lines that you can buy to length that already have all the fittings and everything you need. You're looking about five to ten bucks a line, dirt cheap. Um, so JBugs.com is where you want to order all your brake lines. Phenomenal place. I also bought these little guys, these little grommets right here. See these? I bought these so um, they don't rub on the chassis and destroy the line. So follow that procedure and you'll be happy. You'll have an end result of a really nice set of brake lines and pretty much what you want. Not bad. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to finish up on the back. But thanks again for watching this episode of Pinche Al's Garage. I'm Pinche Al. And as always, we're going to break, fix, and repeat. Who knows? I might end up making another set of brake lines even nicer. But for right now pretty satisfied. Thanks for watching. Peace out.